was good yeah yeah it's been crazy out here in these texas streets right now surprisingly the sun is out and it's beaming like i'm ecstatic although i have this sweatshirt on it's about 70 degrees the snow the ice completely gone like complete transform transformation from what this was a week ago and yeah i've been stressing because we still technically don't have no good no good water but can you not do that thank you um yeah right now we still don't have no water um you have to boil the water you can't just take a shower or wash your hands with the water like we can't do that still which sucks because it's making it so difficult to do anything right now. Like, yeah, I'm tired of taking baths in the tub. I mean, in the sink. I'm tired of taking six years to wash dishes and cook dinner because you gotta boil all the water prior to using it. So that's been, that's been stressful. I'm not gonna front y'all. Like, I didn't even finish washing dishes before I left the house because I can like the water had to cool down after I got done boiling it in order to put it in the sink like it's just a lot I feel like you know it's a lot it's I don't know I don't want to sound ungrateful because throughout the whole time the Lord did not let our water go out we had running water in my apartment and we had heat so the lights never went out so I'm really grateful for that um, and we had enough food it wasn't necessarily what we wanted to eat but we still have food so I thank the Lord for that truly because whew. so right now it is um, there is a shortage in water and drinkable water in Austin but I am definitely trying not to think about that also Bailey's daycare and the pipes broke like and it's gonna take three to four weeks um until they are fixed so currently i am on my way to go pick up bailey's things from the daycare um, we just pulled up to pick up her things she will be going to a different daycare um the same company owns it but it's just in a different spot in the city uh it's 20 more minutes from my out. yeah they have to dry everything uh it's 20 more minutes from where we live so it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a what walk not walk but you know a drive it's a little bit of a drive so all right Bailey, let's go get your stuff all right y'all so we just got um bailey's stuff from the daycare like i said the pipes broke the pipes broke the place flooded it's gonna need a lot of yeah i'm working on trying not to stare at the viewfinder I like i really am for, for yeah they have to take this stuff to the new school so um yeah we just picked up her stuff we're gonna head to the new school just so i know where it is in the morning and i'm not lost i don't like being lost i don't like that so we're gonna head that way so I know where it is in the morning. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit of normalcy. A little bit because y'all, the whole month of February, February has been very stressful. So we're gonna head there, check it out. It's actually in a real nice side of, you know, Austin. So, I mean, not that this, I live in the ghetto or like Bailey School in the ghetto, nothing like that. But it is in a nicer area that, yes, yeah, she did, um, that I am hoping to live in one day. All right, y'all. So, we just um, pulled up. We're about to leave. I wanted just to see where it was, have an idea of where I should be going in the morning. And yeah so we're good on that i'm probably gonna go run the car sorry y'all oh i'm probably gonna go run the car through the car wash um really quick because y'all my car is dirty like 
I'll be honest, being in the house for those two weeks we was in the house, and then it snowed. So another week, like y'all, is huh? So my car is really, really, really dirty, y'all. Really dirty. I really need to get this crack in the windshield fixed. Yes, it's still not fixed. I need to get it fixed because the sun already gleaming and then a little like where it's cracked at like it just does that ray thing y'all it's terrible anyway so i'm probably gonna go get the car washed maybe get gas i don't know but i have a busy busy week this week because of everything that's going on you know texas pretty much lost a whole week a whole week no one went to work for real like it was pretty crazy so that's what I'm going to go do um, this week is just like kind of catch up I, you're hungry okay well we're gonna go home soon um yeah so that's that on that y'all it's been crazy out here Bailey did you like the snow yeah. that was cool what else? You like being at home? You're sleepy. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're sleepy. All right, y'all, so we're about to head home, I guess. I'm gonna feed her and uh, make her take a nap. Okay. Y'all like my sweatshirt? It came in um yesterday. Yeah, it says melanin. Yeah. And it's from My Pride Apparel. Not the same sponsor. I'm just telling y'all where I got it, My Pride Apparel. Stay who wants to stay up forever? I don't even want to stay up forever. Alright y'all. What's good y'all so today is the next day um it is currently about to be eight o'clock i am about to take bailey to school at the at the new location that they're gonna be at it for a few weeks and then i'm going to the gym y'all it's been 20 days exactly 20 days since i've been to the gym um i haven't been since february 2nd it is february 22nd between having quarantine and then the winter ice storm we had, your girl was not able to go to the gym. So it's been long awaited. I cannot wait to get in this gym, start working out, feeling like myself again because when I get trapped in the house and I can't work out and I have been, I'm gonna be completely honest, when I, when I haven't been spending the necessary time with the Lord, I know I get anxious, I have anxiety issues, I talk, start to slip in like a depression almost and not 2021 we're not doing it 2021 I'm not gonna keep falling off of here on YouTube when I feel upset or you know just I'm gonna do I'm doing better this year I refuse to go through this anymore especially when things in my life like God has really been blessing your girl and I just I don't want to do that no more I don't I've been doing it for years years literally and it's time to completely change that no more so I've taken the necessary steps to find a therapist and I have an appointment so yeah I'm, I'm so nervous because never done this before but it's necessary to take care of your mental health and you know I just I don't want to keep going down this same cycle of you know when I feel some type of way or when the enemy is attacking me I just shut down no, we're not doing that not over here you cannot have me no so your girl has made an appointment. It's coming up. Um, you want to say hi? Hi. And good morning. I have a good 
I think you got that for your birthday. Or no. No, you're right. You got it for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, she is such a happy kid. So yeah. I'm waiting for the car to heat up. I didn't realize it was this cold because it's supposed to be 70. Um, yeah, but we about to head out. I'm gonna drop her off and then I'm gonna go to the gym and work this thing out. Bye. What's good, y'all? So it's almost 8.30. Um, I still have Bebe back here. We are waiting in the line. Y'all, this is so different from like her regular school. Cause usually like it's not this big of a line at all, but this is actually a bigger school. Like the company um, that owns her daycare owns another location. And so like it's bigger than the one she actually goes to y'all. So I guess that's why there's this line. Like I feel like I'm in the parent drop off line, which actually that's what exactly what this is. But I've never had to experience that just yet. It's crazy. It really is. But we're slowly but surely moving up front. Um, yeah, this is a way different experience than what I'm used to. In terms of dropping the little baby monster off at school. Way different different procedures y'all this is gonna be in kindergarten uh and fall august she'll be in kindergarten <sighs> she just growing up you growing up bailey <laughs> why you got your legs crossed girl you is a mess you know that i got glad high five <laughs> all right y'all let's get y'all so y'all i've really kicked my butt at the gym it's 11 o'clock now i went ham because it and one i was already like exhausted because i hadn't been in there in so long so yeah that was like a lot i ain't gonna front but i feel pretty good i'm still like really tired i'm at the car wash now because the world is well texas has opened back up because you know we was going through it we were going through it Okay, uh, what's up? I've been back from the car wash for a couple of hours now. Um, I don't know if I told y'all this, maybe I did, but we're on a boil water notice, which means we gotta boil all our water before we can use it to wash dishes, to cook. You don't get no shower. You gotta take a bird bath. Yes, how exciting, right? So. I, th I just want to thank Jesus for the fact that we even have water coming through. We have water. We can't use it. We don't have to drip our faucets anymore. So that's kind of good. But y'all, it's taking me forever to clean the kitchen. Like, forever. Mind you, there's four people staying here right now. Because my sister can't go back to her apartment. And my boyfriend has a situation in his apartment. So, from like damages because of pipes bursting. Stuff like that. So. Um, we using a lot of dishes currently. Currently using a lot of dishes. And so far I've had, I've been able to wash dishes. Like, you know, I boil the water, put it in the sink, wash the dishes, put them on the side. And then I take this other thing of water and then pour it over the dishes I just washed. So I basically gotta wash all the dishes at once, which is really hard. And I still have that left to wash. Um, me and my boyfriend have been taking turns doing it. My, my sister, we, but if y'all been following me for a while, y'all already know how me and my sister operate. So, yes. 
So, yeah, I gotta take a bird bath. It probably won't be right now because I had to wait for my computer to refresh. Y'all, today is so busy. So freaking busy. And I'm just trying to keep it together. Hopefully, the water will be back okay to use by Wednesday. Because if not, that means we ain't had no real water in a week. In a whole week, y'all. We ain't had no water. <laughs> That's ghetto. So, I'm going to finish these dishes and then I am going to edit for y'all. I need to get that video up and I also need to drive 20 minutes to get my child. So, it's a busy Monday. I've been on the go. On the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a drive. You know what it is. Yeah. Talk free vibes on me. Music keeps my lonely. I've been up since I don't know where I am. Trying to create a vibe. Trying to get these hours in. Punching the clock, I get it. Gotta go hard with it. Honey, honey, I'ma start with it. Coach looking for starters. Hop in the game, I'm like Harden. Falling harder than Spartan. Falling harder than Spartan. Okay guys, so I somewhat finished the dishes. I have like one pot that needs to get clean. Well, the skillet that needs to be cleaned or whatever. Um, but I'll probably do that later on when I get home because y'all, I just literally finished editing for you guys because we are back on schedule Monday through Thursday uploads at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah, it's legit 75 degrees outside. Like a whole week ago, I want to say it was 20 degrees, 15 degrees. No, it was my birthday last week. I'm pretty sure it was 19 degrees last week. I want to say it was 19 degrees last week. One week ago, y'all, one week ago when I turned 26, now it's 75 degrees. Sick of Texas. Sick of it. But whatever, I'm just thankful that we are here today. My mom actually sent Bailey like some stuff. Um, I'll let her open it when she gets home. I'm actually on my way to go pick her up because like I said, y'all, she is further than where her actual daycare is. Her actual daycare is like pretty close to our apartment, but the temporary location or other building is um a lot further so i need to leave now because it's already 4 13 and i also need to stop and get gas before i pick this up because i ain't got time to stop in the store <laughs> y'all know how them kids love to ask for everything mommy can i have this mommy can i have that no no you can't no Y'all, yeah, people are always texting Bailey iPad like, this is no exactly how to read just yet. <sighs> so, all right, let's go ahead and get this gas. Let's see, wait, make sure. You are goofy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My package came today. Yeah, your package came early, actually. I had to open it because I thought it was for me, but it's actually for you. <laughs> Let's see what you get. Blanket. You got a blanket. A unicorn. Wow. Hey. What else? Ooh, what's in here? I believe that would be the nightlight. The unicorn nightlight. Ooh. A sticking pad to my wall. Um, okay. Oh yeah, this is what Where is, is this? It? It's for my nightlight. It's for my Oh, room. yeah. It's a, a unicorn nightlight. And it yeah, comes with a remote. Yeah, in case I want to 
change it and you told me to change it. Oh yeah, we gotta plug it in, but you gotta see what else. Let's see, you got some unicorn bed sheets. <laughs> oh, fancy. We should plug this in and see how it works. You gonna say thank you, Yaya? Thank you, Yaya.